Bad breath is not good for your social life. But suck on a mint and you can breathe a sigh of relief. Mint sweets were first introduced in Britain in 1790, initially used to soothe indigestion. Later, the breath-freshening qualities were discovered and they became known as breath mints. At the factory, they make these tablet-style mints in various colours and flavours. For a lime-flavoured mint, ingredients include sorbitol, a sugar-free sweetener, magnesium stearate, which acts as a binder, and lime oil for that refreshing flavour. They load measured amounts of the ingredients into a V-shaped blender. The green stuff is a pre-mix of colour and oil. He screws the lid tightly onto the blender. It tumbles the ingredients for 45 minutes. The magnesium stearate begins to bind the various elements. Then they mix blue and yellow pigment to produce a vibrant green one. The pigment is a booster to enhance the green colour of the mint and the lime flavour. After one more spin in the blender, the mixture is ready to be pressed. It flows out of the blender and into a bin. Once the bin is full, they deliver it to the tablet pressing machine. Here, they scoop the mix into two hoppers that have sieves on top. The sieves screen out any large clumps. The rest of the mix falls into the rotary tablet press. This is the same kind of machine that the pharmaceutical industry uses for making pills. It spins in a blur to punch out 1800 tablets a minute. They slow the press to a crawl to give us a close-up look. The granulated mixture flows in metered amounts into dyes in the rotating wheel. Upper and lower punches meet in the dies to compress the ingredients. This fuses the mixture into hard tablets. After the compression, the lower punches rise and eject the sweets. The mints and the excess powder fall down a chute. At actual speed, the machine churns out dozens of mints faster than the blink of an eye. The tablets and all the excess powder now flow into a perforated cylinder. As the cylinder rotates, the powder flies out of the holes and into the trough below. This is known as de-dusting. The mints, minus most of the excess powder, spill out into a container. Next, the mints ride a revolving table. This is a tablet counting system. As the mints exit the table, light sensors count out a preset amount of mints for packaging. In this case, 72 mints. A worker moves tins into position below the hoppers to capture the mints. This kind of tin has been used since the 1920s. It has a sliding lid that makes it easy to open. But once closed, it contains them tightly, preventing spillage. Now it's over to the shrink wrap department. Machinery drops a plastic sleeve onto each tin as it rides by and under a leveling bracket. The tins then travel through an oven where a blast of heat softens the plastic sleeves, causing them to shrink around the tins. They emerge securely sealed and ready for retail. Today these sweets can come in exotic shapes, like these wine bottle mints. It's a nice touch, and we're in no doubt that customers will love the idea too. Hopefully, they'll buy them by the truckload, ensuring that this company really does make a mint. <laughs>